All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm gonna go over how to install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website. So we have our WordPress website here for Surfside PPC, and we're also just gonna be getting started with Google Tag Manager. So what you wanna do is you can open up tagmanager.google.com. Otherwise, just search Google Tag Manager directly in Google, you'll find it. So we're gonna click on the link here and it's gonna open up your Tag Manager account. So you're gonna need a Google account to get started. You can see I already have my beachfront decor here, farmhousegoals.com here. So I just deleted my old Surfside PPC Tag Manager account. So you can see it's in a trash can. If you click here, you can restore this. So you're, I'm not able to restore it after September 19th, 2019. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna click on Create Account, and we're gonna start with a new account. We're gonna do Surfside PPC country will be United States you can share data anonymously with Google and others I'm just not going to check that for now so container name what we're going to do is just www.surfsideppc.com target platform will be web so you want to choose your target platform here and then click on create so now we just have to accept the terms of service here so we'll click here to accept and click on yes okay so you're going to see here it's going to say install Google Tag Manager after you set up your account and you're gonna see right here, it's gonna say copy the code below and paste it onto every page of your website. There's a piece of code you need to put directly after the opening head tag, and there's a piece of code that you need to put immediately after the opening body tag. Now, the way I like to do this is manually. So what we do is we take this code here, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna come back over to our WordPress website, and if you're using a child theme here, you don't need to worry about every time that you update your theme, you need to update your Google Tag Manager code. The way I have it set up is every time I do update my theme here, I'm gonna have to make sure that I go back in and add these two pieces of code to my theme. Now the other option you have is you can use a WordPress plugin. So the most popular one is Google Tag Manager for WordPress. It's also called Duracell Tomy Google Tag Manager. So you'll find this if you just go to the plugins page. I'll put this link in the video description, but I'm not gonna be going through this today. I'm just gonna be doing it manually to show you an easy way to do it. And you can also use this for other websites as well. So anytime that you're adding Google Tag Manager to any website, it would be the same exact setup. So in WordPress, what we're gonna do is under appearance, we're gonna to come to theme editor here. And now you can, you're gonna see it's gonna open up the editor portion of WordPress. So we're gonna come over here to the right hand side. You need to make sure you're updating the proper theme here. And you, under theme files, we're gonna click on header. So this is the only file that we need to open. So now you're gonna see the opening header tag right here. This is the closing header tag. And then you're gonna see the opening body tag right here. So what we're gonna do is immediately after the opening header tag, copy and paste the original code. And then what we need to do is come back over to Google Tag Manager. Now we need to take the second piece of code and put it after the opening body tag. So we're gonna come down here, put it directly after the opening body tag. So we'll copy and paste it right there and click on update file. Okay, so now it says file edited successfully down here. Now the next thing I wanna go through is Google Tag Assistant. So it's a Chrome plugin that you can easily install. You can see Tag Assistant by Google. So if I come over to Surfside PPC, I haven't reloaded the page yet, so it hasn't taken into account that I've added the code to the page. If we come over here to Tag Assistant, you're gonna see that there's nothing here yet. No tags found under Tag Assistant. So what we can do is we can reload this page Okay, so now if we come over here to Tag Assistant, you're gonna see it's gonna say Google Tag Manager. And if we click on it, it does say there's one issue, HTTP response code indicates tag failed status 404. So this could be due to an empty or unpublished container. So we have no tag set up in Google Tag Manager yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to Google Tag Manager, we're gonna click on the X, and you can see here it says container not published. So if you're not familiar with the entire purpose of Google Tag Manager, it's to allow you to keep all of your tags, all of the code that you wanna put on your website in one place. So Google Analytics, you can add your Google Ads code here, you can add your LinkedIn Insight tag here, your Facebook Pixel. So all of these different pieces of code that you're constantly having to add to your website, you can keep track of it much easier using Tag Manager. So if we just click on New Tag over here, you can see some of the most popular tags. If we click on Choose a Tag to Begin, see Google Analytics, Conversion Tracking, Remarketing, Google Optimize, you can add custom HTML, custom image tag, and then they have a lot more down here. So if you're using ad roll, you can add your smart pixel here really easily. So all of these different things is the whole reason you would use Google Tag Manager. 
So all you need to do is make sure you have your tag manager added underneath your header tag up here at the top. So you can see we have it right here and then your body tag. And then you're able to add all these different tags to your website with ease. So all we need to do is click right here. It's going to say container not published. Just click on submit and it's going to say publish and create your version. So version name will just be published container. Okay, so publish container, first container published for Surfside PPC, and that's it. Okay, so now it's gonna say version one published container. So all we need to do is come over here, reload the page one more time. And if we come up to the top here, click on tag assistant one more time, you're gonna see it's gonna have our Google Tag Manager here. Now, the one other thing I wanna show you is you can come over here to Google Tag Manager. We come back, and one thing you can do here is click on preview. So if you click on preview right next to submit, it's gonna enter preview mode. So what we do is we come back over here to Surfside PPC, we refresh the page one more time. And when you do that at the bottom, you're gonna see Tag Manager here. So it's gonna say there are no tags in the, in the container. So as we start adding tags, you'll be able to see them down here. So things like Google Analytics, and different tags that you're gonna to add to your website. So some different ways to make sure that you have Google Tag Manager properly set up on your website. If we click over here on Tag Assistant one more time, you can see it's all set up properly, everything is good to go, and now all we need to do is start adding tags to our website, and we can do that directly through Google Tag Manager. So we're just gonna leave preview mode for now, click on OK, and we're all ready to go. Now the last thing to keep in mind is you don't need to keep different portions of code on your website. For example, if you already have Google Analytics on your website, if you're switching over to Google Tag Manager, what you would wanna do is just verify your Google Analytics code using Google Tag Manager. So that's the way that you're gonna keep track of all your tags moving forward once you start using Google Tag Manager. And the other thing is, if you do update your theme, you need to keep in mind that you need to make sure you keep these pieces of code here. So if you're using the manual method like I do, then you need to make sure that you keep this code underneath the header tag and then this code underneath the body tag. So just every time that you see a theme update when you are going through and updating your themes in WordPress, you need to make sure that you keep that code active on your website. Otherwise, Google Tag Manager won't be able to track everything that's happening on your website and you're gonna have portions where you're missing data due to that issue. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.